have lost you but it's Lorna the Ladybird Stitcher. Today is Friday the 7th of February 2020 and I'm here to record an update of my stitching. Um, it's only been about a month this time so I haven't been away too long. Um, still has been pretty busy. My daughter went back to school um, or, or started school I should say. Um, she absolutely loves it. She had a wonderful time. Um, there weren't too many tears which is good. <laughs> um, yeah, it went really well and yeah, she's having a ball. But welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, this is a channel where I discuss a lot of cross stitch. Um, I don't really do many other hobbies, so um, you'll just see cross stitch on this channel. Okay, um, I, I got quite into um, stitching this, this month. I did quite a lot and I decided to pull out quite a few that I hadn't, or not quite a few, but a couple that I hadn't put, I hadn't actually seen in over a year. Um, so that was really good. Um, and the first one, or no, in no particular order, but um, one that I had been wanting to get back to for a while, but it just never seemed to be the right time, was my Chatelaine. And this is um, Alpine Seasons Garden. Uh, I'll take it out of the, I keep it in a folder. Um, but that's it there. It's a photo, so I can't really do much about the glare. Today is really wet and um, cloudy, and I'm not complaining. Um, here in Australia, we desperately need rain, so it's fantastic that we have it. Um, but the lighting may be a little bit um, off today. So, um, but yeah, this is um, Alpine Seasons Gardens. I've had it on the go for a while. Um, I have it in a hard copy format, and... Um, that was kind of not helping me very much because um, I was finding it hard to see a lot of the a lot of the small symbols, um, especially where she does the one over ones and she puts um, like two or four different symbols in the one little square, and they were getting they were really quite small. So what I did was took a photo with my iPad and um, I've actually put it on to eBooks. And I can see the pattern now and I can just zoom in whenever I want and it's it's fantastic so um, if you have that similar problem um, if I ever buy any more Chatelaines I will buy and I, I probably will but um, I'll buy them um, in PDF but if you have some lying around and um, you can't see the, the the symbols properly or you can't see the pattern properly because it's so small um, try doing that um, use any kind of PDF reader you'll be able to zoom in on and that really helps and um, you can mark them off and it keeps track of how you're going but anyway um, back to the stitching so here's what it looked like the last time you saw it and here it is now so that's it there so I did quite a bit of the center there I still have a little bit to go um, but I really started enjoying it once I could actually see the symbols so yeah really happy with that there's still a lot more um, still a bit more so this there's a little bit of um, half stitches there and the clouds I don't know if you can see the clouds because just here yeah you could probably see that but they're all half stitches and then there's more half stitches to go around here um, I think and a few more obviously stitches there um, that's the cabin so I'll probably do all the full cross stitches first just in the center and then I'll go around and finish the half stitches and then I might start to do the inner border um, so yeah I'm really happy with that and really happy that I can see it now it makes a big difference um, and that material that fabric is it's by stitches and spice which was an Australian hand dyer um, who are no longer in business um, but it's called spice blend fern gully and it's a 28 count cashel okay next one I was really really enjoying my stitching this month um, I pulled out one that I started late last year or August last year um, and it's Long Dog Samplers Day and Night which will look like that when it's finished 
And here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. Here's where it is now. And I had such a good time stitching this. Um, it was one of my favourites that I've pulled out this month and it probably will be a favourite going forward. Um, the only thing that I found, and I'll put, the, I'll put the page back, but you can probably see that outer border, it's, I think it could become quite monotonous. It's just trees, house, trees, house, tree house, tree house, tree house, or tree building. Um, so hopefully that doesn't become too monotonous, but that's why I've kind of did a little bit of the outer border and then went back to, went to do a little bit of the inner border. But this was a lot of fun. I'm doing this on a 20 count Lugana, ivory Lugana, which I had lying around. Um, and yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. So, um, it's my first long dog sampler. It definitely won't be my last. I've got... I've accumulated a couple more and um, I probably won't start them until I finish this one but I really am enjoying that one so I hope that continues. And then I pulled out the Primitive Hair 6 by of Henry VIII and here's where it was the last time you saw it. And here it is now. And I've completed the Catherine of Aragon. Um, this is on 30 count Salem linen, which is a, it is, it is produced and dyed by the primitive hair. It's a very loose weave. Um, I find that it's very flimsy and floppy. And um, unless you, unless I was on a frame, I found it quite hard to work on. Um, but while I was on the frame, I, I didn't mind it at all. The only thing was, sorry, <laughs> it's so flimsy. Um, the only thing was that, um, because I only have three inches of a border up here and when I put it on the Q-snap, um, it was hard to sort of stitch up here. And so I had to take it out of the Q-snap and stitch that little bit. And that became quite, and it was only like the center of the cross. It wasn't. So that, that um, part of the cross wasn't a big deal, but um, I can see that I might have to just go and complete the, complete the rest of the top just so that I can get over that little hurdle. Um, but yeah, I was a bit worried too that I had it the wrong, um, situated the wrong way around, but it's all good. Um, I worked it out again, that's all good. It is quite wide. It's a lot wider than you would think just by looking at, at that. Um, so that, what I've stitched there is probably only a third of the way across and the length, lengthwise it's about half. So yeah, um, Catherine of Aragon and Anne Boleyn take up a lot of room and then the other four wives are all fit in the, all fit in the bottom. Um, so yeah, I had a goal to finish Catherine of Aragon last year. And um, I didn't get around to that. And I thought I'll try to do that this time. And I just continued until it finished. The only thing left is the French knots, which I'm thinking of changing to beads for this one. Um, it's royalty, so I think beads will fit quite nicely. Um, and I don't like doing French knots. So uh, yeah, so I will leave those till the end. But I think now what I might do if I pick it up again this year is I'll try and, and do that centre bit. So the crown, the T for Tudor up the top, the Tudor rose, and maybe the six wives of. And have it ready for next time I pick it up and to do Anne Boleyn, which will be fun. So that's that one. And I hope I don't leave it another year before I get back to it because I did enjoy that. Um, I also finished... Uh, Stay, rangy stables which is this one from Santa's Village and here's what Santa's Village looked like last time you saw it and here it is now so that's 
that's what it's looking like so far and there's rangy stables there so it's really cute um and my plan for this month would be to pick up the next the next one along sorry that's not really i'm not really showing that very well there you go um the next one along will be uh, comp uh christmas tree farm so you you might see that next month Another one I worked on was Summer Queen by Mirabilia and here's what she will look like when she's finished more or less. Um, I did change the backing fabric so it's going to look a little bit different. Um, here's what she looked like the last time you saw her. And this is being worked on Injun Sunset by Color Cascade Fabrics. It's a 28 count Monaco. And here's what she looks like now. I will be spending another week on her later this month. Absolutely love this fabric. And um, yeah, I love stitching on her. And I, want, I do want to spend another week on, on this one before I put her away for the year. So yeah, really enjoying that. It's hard to know what to work on because I'm just so into my stitching at the moment, which is really good. But um, it's a good problem to have. <laughs> um, and then I pulled out, there was um, on Cross Stitch Finish Line, just a Facebook group, which I will link below. Um, there was a Stitchathon last month and I pulled out Juliet from Tilton Cross and here's what she will look like when she's finished. And here's what she looked like the last time you saw her. And I only managed two columns but um there's where it is now. I'll remove those threads. That's better. There you go. So that's on one over one on 25 count Nagana. It's my preferred one over one stitch. There is another stitchathon this weekend coming up. It starts tonight. And I don't know if I'll be pulling this one out or another for, um, full coverage piece. Um, I use full coverage pieces for those challenges because they're easier to count the stitches. Um, however, I have put in an order. While I was working on Juliet, um, I was watching someone's YouTube, someone's floss tube. I can't remember who it was, um, but they were mentioning how on Pattern Keeper, you can see as soon as you type a symbol, it tells you what color DMC you'll need. And especially with Juliet, it's got over 90 colors. Um, I can usually fit a, a normal hade. I can usually fit all the threads in one floss box. Um, with Juliet, I can't do that. So I know that she has more colors than a normal hade, which is about 89 colors, I think. Um, so she has quite a few colors and it. I was taking a long time searching through. So I put in an order for a very basic um, Android tablet. I only have um, apples. I have an, an iPad and an iPhone so I don't have anywhere to get Pattern Keeper because it's only available on Android. So I'm hoping that that will help with speeding me up a little bit on Juliet. Um, so this weekend, I won't have the tablet until next week but um, I thought this week I'll just pull out a Hade and it's got fewer colours. It shouldn't take me too long to find the symbol that I need or the, the relevant DMC. Sorry about that. Um, I had a knock on the door, um, but it was stitchy, kind of, uh, stitchy um, mail. So it's all good. Um, that was all, that was it for my whips. So yeah, I was talking about Pattern Keeper. I'm really hoping that that speeds things up a bit. From what I've heard, it's an absolutely fantastic um, tool for us stitchers and especially for full coverage. So. I'm really looking forward to getting my new tablet and um, 
giving that a whirl. Okay, um, last, so that my last video was the whip, mini whip parade and a summary of last year, and I didn't show you any haul. Um, and most of the haul that I received last year, you would have seen because I kind of stopped buying it around in around July. Um, and I think my last video was in June, July. Um, and then I kind of bought a couple of things here and there, but I, I really wasn't buying much. And I, I was looking at my stash and I have really everything I need. So, um, but when Christmas came around and my birthday is in December and, um, my brother and my dad in particular asked me what I wanted. Um, I said to them, and we don't do Christmas presents for the adults, but, um, for my birthday, um, I asked them for gift vouchers to one, two, three stitch. So, um, I could do a little bit of spending there and, um, what I got from 123 Stitch was um, some pieces of fabric. Um, I decided to try a bit more of Picture This Plus, and this one is um, Twilight Lugana. It is a fat quarter, um, so it should fit most of the mirrors on it. And it's my preferred fabric for mirrors, it's 28 count Lugana. So, um, so that might come in handy for one of those, for one of my mirrors, which I'm not starting any at the moment, but um, this one is Picture This Plus De Bloom, and it's a 28 count Lagana as well, and um, it's also a fat quarter. And this is for a particular project, um, which I've put away. I did get, it was one of the few times that I purchased a chart and it was um, Autumn Quakers by Rose Wood Manners. Um, I loved it as soon as I saw people stitching on it. Um, unfortunately, the cover photo was kind of having me on edge, but when I saw people actually stitching on it, I really loved it. So this is for that project. And I also bought the Valdani threads, which go with it. Um, So yeah, it just says, that's the Autumn Quaker box. I don't know if you can see that, um, but they're lovely colors. So I'm looking forward to starting that, but I'm not gonna start it um, just yet. And then um, another one is this one, which is Summer Sky Jobelin. This is not a picture, this plus, I think it's just a spy guard or witch help, I'm not sure, but um, I really like that color so I've got a couple of projects on this one and I really like it and it's it's lovely for a mermaid um, or anything really so I thought I'd get that and then I had a couple of things on my wish list um, this one which is by Silver Creek Samplers and it's called Garden Bliss and it says the kiss of the there are some bits on it that you don't actually read. They're actually pictures, but it says the kiss of the sun for pardon, the song of the bird for mirth. You are nearer God's heart in the garden than anywhere else on this earth. I really like that. So, um, I also got Eleanor Rigby. This has been on my wish list for a while, but it seems to have, I don't know whether it went out of print and they reprinted it or, but one, two, three stitch didn't seem to have it quite for quite a while. So, when I saw it, I decided to grab it. Um, you can do this in kind of the monotone or in the colored one, and I'm not sure which one I'll do yet. But, um, I think that one's more of a birth, birth sampler, but still you can, you can make it anything. So I really like that. And after I finished um, my Blackbird designs from last year, which was Strawberry Fields Forever, um, I'm not going to get all the Beatles ones, but I'm really liking Blackbird design, so I thought I would try that out. Um, I got some perforated paper, which nothing exciting. It is for a specific Mill Hill project. I bought just the chart, so I did need some perforated paper. I found this on Silver Needle, um, and I really like it. It's called Gazebo, and it's another Mill Hill collection chart. Um, buttons and beads so really I really think that's beautiful 
and I've been looking for this one for a while. It's really hard to get in Australia and I found it on the Silver Needle, so that's why I ordered from there. It's called Cardinal Points by, um, by Long Dog Samplers, but they're in um, partnership with The Gentle Arts and I think that's why it's hard to get. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the deal is, um, but only a few places seem to have it. Um, but I was able to get it um, for a reasonable price from the Silver Needle. So there's that one. Um, I like that ever since I saw it. But yeah, like I said, I found it hard to get. Um, this was what just arrived, actually. I bought this from Stash Unload because I really like the colour. It is a 28 Count Lugana by Picture This Plus and it's called Flapper. And yeah, I got that on Stash Unload, so that's really pretty. And then I received some stitchy kindness over the course of last year. Um, I won a couple of competitions, which was fantastic. Um, the first one was from Kelly Key, Shelley Key X Stitch, um, who I had the pleasure of meeting when I was in the States in 2018. And that was, it was so nice to meet her, but um, I've been watching her for a long time and she had a um, competent, well, sort of giveaway on her channel. She was giving away chart, a chart and I really like this one. It's another Blackbird design and it's called Pink Hill Manor. So I was lucky enough to win that. So thank you very much, Shelley, for that. Um, I also won Ger Ginger Gerald Stitcher was stitching his big haid, um, Henry VIII, and he um, was trying to finish it by a certain time, and he said anyone else who finishes one that's, I, th I think the size had to be at least 100 by 100 stitches. Um, it didn't have to be a haid, but I decided to enter. Um, I managed to finish two of my haids uh, around that time that he was stitching Henry VIII, and I finished my stocking, uh, stocking faithful friends. And story keep secret garden. And I entered those and I won. And he sent me a very generous gift. Um, so it's, this is hand dyed velveteen. It's really pretty color. I'll just take it out of the plastic. Feels really, really pretty. So it's probably, um, I don't think you can stitch on this. It's probably better for a backing fabric. It's velveteen, it's really, feels really nice. Um, he also sent me this color and cotton uh, called seashell. So it's a, a pale pink. I'm sorry, the lighting is not good. Um, also this one, Colour color and Cotton um, Pixie, that's really pretty, and heaps of, how many were there, I think there were, there's at least 16 in there, but um, some Colour and Cotton hand dyed threads, so they're really, really pretty, and it looks like a bright pack, so um, it's the first Colour and Cotton that I've received. I think they're a Canadian company, I'm not sure. Um, they spell colour the same way us Aussies spell it with the U in it. That's why I know they're not American. But um, yeah, really pretty threads. Yeah. So thank you very much, Ginger Gerald. Um, I, yeah, I actually found out that I won um, while I was in, I, I was just leaving. I think I was on my last week of the holidays in Europe so we were in Malta and it was so nice to, to get that, to see that video. Um, I was way behind on my videos, but um, another person that I met in the States when I was there, um, the lovely Sarah Stitching Mummy, actually sent me a message and said, watch Ginger Gerald's video, um, there's something you should see on there. And yeah, it was him, him telling uh, telling us that um, he'd drawn the winners of that competition and I was one of them and I'm very lucky to have received that. So thank you very much to Gerald for that competition and for sending me all that. Um, it's very generous. Um, I also received a Christmas card from 
Dawn um, Frosty X Stitch. I'm really sorry I've put that away with all my Christmas things and it's in the garage and we've got storage on the roof but I'll need my husband here to get that down so I'm really sorry but it was a very nice Christmas card. Thank you so much Dawn. I loved receiving that. And then I received um, some chicken scissors. And this is an in-joke between a few of us. Um, but this was from Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. So thank you so much, Tash. And then my dear friend Sandra sent me this beautiful chainmail scissor fob, or it can be a scissor, um, a zipper pull. But um, it's red and black. And at the bottom, is a beautiful little um, ladybird. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's so cute. I loved getting this. Thank you so much, Sandra. It was lovely to, to receive that. Um, yeah, so nice. So that is from the creative curator, Kerry, and she's on um, Etsy, and I will link her store below. She makes beautiful scissor pulls, scissor fobs, and zipper pulls and that's just lovely so thank you for that um i think that's all i have um no there is something it's more fabric that um i actually purchased a chart from sapphire mountains handcrafts i think i will link the etsy store below but she's having a sale of the three musketeers and that is one of my favorite series of novels um there are five novels in the series they're by Alexandra Dumas, who is also one of my favourite authors. And, um, like, he's right up there with Jane Austen for me. Jane Austen and Alexandra Dumas. Love them both. There's heaps and heaps of cells with Jane Austen themed, but not so many of the Three Musketeers. Or if they are, if you do see them, they're usually very cartoonish. Um, but um, Sapphire... Ha Sapphire Mountains Handcrafts, I think. Um, I will put the correct link below for Etsy, her Etsy store. She's putting out a sale and it doesn't look too cartoonish. Um, and I'm really excited about it. Um, so I decided to treat myself to some fabric from Sew It All Australia. Um, and this is beautiful fabric. It's called, I can't remember the name, but I will put it on the screen somewhere. But this is beautiful. Um, we had a long weekend, the last weekend of January was a long weekend for Australia Day and I ordered it on the Monday, which was the holiday. They sent it out on the Tuesday. Um, it took a week to get here because Australia Post is slow at the moment, but um, they did everything they could to get it around, to get it out on time. So they only put on their website what they actually have in stock from what I can see. Um, and I will link them below as well. But it's my first order from them. I'm very impressed. Um, they were recommended to me by Pyrex Stitcher Claire. So thank you very much, Claire. I don't know what took me so long, but I'm glad that I found them. Um, yeah, they're really good. So I will be doing the sale on that. I'm just waiting on some threads. Um, I did try to get the threads from Lincraft and Big W and other craft stores and other stores from Australia, but no one seemed to have all the threads that I needed. So I've put in an order with JKs and they're on their way. Um, the only thing left is plans. I want to um, complete the next one in the Santa's Village, which is Christmas Tree Farm. I want to spend another week on Summer Queen um, by Mirabilia. And I will spend this weekend working on full coverage um, for the Stitchathon for Cross Stitch Finish Line. Um, I'm thinking of also maybe spending the following weekend, I believe, cross stitch, uh, full coverage fanatics is having a sale uh, for Valentine's Day. And I thought I'd pull out Juliet for that sale um, and try to spend a bit of time on that. And by then I should have my tablet with, uh, and I would have downloaded Pattern Keeper. Hopefully everything will go well and I'll put all my charts that I need to on it and there'll be no technical problems whatsoever and I'll be able to work it straight away uh, watch that go downhill <laughs> but um, yeah hopefully that'll work out and um, I will be back to show you my progress 
um, I'm not sure when. I actually did get my job. Um, it's with the company that I used to work for before I had my daughter. Um, and they have off very kindly offered me a position. It's very casual. Um, I can pretty much work whenever I have time, which is fantastic. Um, I can work from home, which is also a really good plus. Um, but I will be spending a lot more time on working than stitching, unfortunately. So stitching will reduce a little bit in the coming weeks, um, but I'm really making the most of the time I have until the contract comes through and everything. So um, yeah, I will hopefully see you soon. I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their February and take care and happy stitching. Bye everyone.